So what did you want to do when you grew up? Did you want to be a vet? A journalist? Well, meet Naomi. She's 15 years old and living in Tarawa, Kiribati. She's not sure what she wants to be, and she's not sure what a vet does either, nor that finding a cure to cancer is something she could pursue. She's one of the brightest students in her class, working very hard to maintain her grades, and her teachers are always very impressed. One day, she came to school to tell her teachers that she will no longer be coming to class. She wants to do her best for herself and her family, and so she chooses to stay at home to look after her younger siblings. Naomi's story is unlike many others her age, dropping out of education when she's completed Year 9. Teachers at her local high school and across the islands lose some of their most promising students, with many leaving to start work as seafarers and fishermen, given Kiribati's heavy reliance on fishing revenue. Students like Naomi are not given the chance to realise their potential, nor given the vision to realise what she's capable of. So, what are we going to do about it? The key is to instill visions to motivate attendance. Vision. Vision, vision, vision. Vision to see beyond the classroom. Introducing VisionBot. It's kind of like a school careers counsellor, but to scale. One-to-one student conversations with input from teachers, community, educators, and the student themselves. Engage with our friendly bot to learn more and more about areas of interest and where it can take you in the future. With the average pupil to teacher ratio being 17.44 as of 2018, the value cannot be understated. Instead of 200 plus careers counsellors, we have an automated system, and that's not easily quantifiable. Chatbots, also known as conversation agents, are software applications that mimic written or spoken human speech for the purposes of stimulating conversation or interaction with a real-life person. There are two primary ways that the chatbot are offered to visitors, via web-based applications or a website, or on a standalone app. It can be cheaply run in a place such as Australia, leveraging cloud-based technology to build the bot on-site, and also deployed in Kiribati to use. Bot maintenance can be shared across Australia and Kiribati to mitigate the effects of any unstable networking issues due to Kiribati's remoteness, vulnerability to external shocks and environmental stress. Ultimately, it could provide a source of highly skilled jobs in IT for Kiribati's residents. An opportunity to partner with a well-to-do technology company such as Google or Amazon to fund the project would be highly beneficial to keep costs for maintaining and storing local custom stories and traditions in the cloud to a minimum. Alongside approaching the issue of school dropout rates, we identified ancillary issues that we could also help solve. This includes involving the community with cultural consultations, combat skill shortages, and also empower women to be leaders in their community. In fact, this year, in the first round of elections held on the 14th of April 2020, only four women were successfully elected into parliament out of 44. With women being the high flyers in their class across the board, it doesn't add up. Often students and even parents don't see the purpose and long-time end goals of education. Together, myself, Michelle, Joan, Jenny, and Jim, we're highlighting the link between education and being able to get a great job, the financial empowerment, and also becoming an aspiring leader in the community. We empower the community with online and offline capability, you only need a phone, and with future capabilities to capture and store customs, traditions and cultural stories for future generations. We also offer detailed recommendations for all students across the whole region. We are also student-centric. Developed alongside the community with Kiribati teachers, parents and students, the bot encourages the students by recommending career pathways and opportunities based on the students' interests, preferences of school subjects, and extracurricular activities. With multilingual capabilities, it will be accessible and intergenerational. Students can choose to be notified for local part-time jobs, internships, workshops, and volunteering opportunities. This allows them to gain experiences in their interests as well as contribute back to the community. In the implementation stage, we'll be developing and training the bot alongside Kiribus, teachers, parents, and leaders. There will be beta testing, reviews of feedback loops, and the consultation with the local community board, teachers, and parents again. Deployment into testing schools will only be such once we've satisfied that the community has been involved. Then we hope wide and mainstream use by students across the years.